Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos, and this is a really quick how-to, simple tutorial for uh, newer Mac users and some Mac users who uh, may have this question. I know a lot of you guys already know how to do this. This is an old application, and this isn't really a review of the application, just how to change your dock on Mac OS X to a custom dock. Really, really simple stuff, um, and I know, like I said, a lot of you guys probably know how to do this. Uh, anyways, Candy Bar. This is one of the apps that makes it super, super simple to do this, and you can uh, download it. Um, so you can download Candy Bar right here at the site at panic.com slash candy bar. Um, you can also, I think it's, uh, let me see here how much it is here. Let me go to buy Candy Bar, or buy now. Uh, you can download it, and I, I'm not sure how long the trial is, but if you want Candy Bar th uh, for Candy Bar 3, you can get it for $29. Uh, it's for one copy. Or if you own Candy Bar 2 and you want to upgrade to Candy Bar 3, uh, then or version 3, then it's only $24, so $5 cheaper. Uh, if you get it, it's limited to a 15-day trial and 250 icons, but definitely worth uh, the app, or, you know, if you're looking to purchase an app, definitely one of the apps I recommend. It makes it super easy to change your icons. I know there's other ways in your dock, but this just makes it really, really simple. I'm sure there's a free alternative, and I'll probably post a video re response with a free alternative, but this is how you do it using Candy Bar. Very, very simple. So you can try this out. You can get it out for 15 days, uh, or, uh, you know, wherever you want to buy it. It's up to you, depending on you know, if you really think it's worth it. Uh, so go ahead and get it, and once you download it, I'm going to go ahead and open it here. So I actually, this is the candy bar right here, and this is what it looks like. And after you purchase it, it's pretty much the same. Or you, you see here, I have 13 days left in the trial, but when you purchase it, uh, you can buy it. I have this on my MacBook, so uh, I have to, uh, I think you can, if you buy it on another Mac, I believe you can just contact them and say that you bought it, so you can get or your serial code or whatever. Your code should work, vice versa. Anyways. Uh, you want to click obviously on the dock right here, and you want to download a dock that you want. So, for example, if you can head over to DebianArt.com and go here in the section, and under DebianArt, you just want to navigate uh, over to. So, let me click this real quick so I can show you. You want to go to customization, then you want to go to uh, skins and themes, scroll down to Mac utilities or Macintosh utilities, and from there just click docs. And this has a whole bunch of docs you can download. You can sort it. For example, I'm sorting mine popular all time. And I saw one that I thought looked pretty nice here. I like the one I'm using now, but just to show you an example, I downloaded this one called the Real Leopard uh, X Doc here. So I have it downloaded on my desktop. You can see right here the files that are needed. And now what I'm going to do is go into Candy Bar here, and it just says you can say use this doc, use these icons. You can drag an image file into here, change it. So for example, I can open this here, and you can see the Real Doc resources. You can drag in these pictures here if you want to use these. You also have the real doc application, or this little thing for Candy Bar, where you can just click it, and if you have uh, Candy Bar installed here, then it'll automatically open. Or, of course, you can read the instructions, as you can see, this guy put it here. So you want to read those instructions also if you don't know how to do anything. Uh, so once you have the doc changed, you can say use this doc. So I'll say use this doc, and I'm going to hit apply, and you'll see the. I'll have to type in my password here, and I don't actually have a password, so I just hit OK, and the doc. Should apply its changes uh, any second now to Candy Bar. So let me see here. All right, you have to relaunch the docs. I'm say relaunch doc. And as you see here, after relaunch the docs, sorry, I had to cut because everything, all my windows just spammed open there. So uh, yeah. And if you're, anyways, after you see here, the doc will change. And I actually kind of like this doc better. It matches my background better. So you can see your changes all that. You can also add the icons. Obviously, this one came with its own icons and stuff like that. So you can do that too if you click on my icons. And you can mix and match it up. Anyways, guys, this is how you change it really simple with Candy Bar. I'm about to go ahead and see if I can get my old version for my MacBook over. If not, I guess I'll have to repurchase. Or I think it was on Candy Bar 2, so I might have to do the upgrade plan. Um, also, you have to be wary that sometimes they don't have all the icons for certain applications, so you can go ahead and download certain icons. For example, it, my old theme or changed the screen flow icon. It's supposed to be blue in this version, but it changed it to the regular one, so some of these themes may be out of, you know, uh, out of date in terms of what version to give the icon uh, image so you might have to download like the newer version or you want to get it in like sometimes I think they have a screen flow icon in black and stuff like that so if you want to get it to match your doc you can go on Debian Art and find those icons and singly drag them into Candy Bar as well. Anyways guys we'll have a full review of Candy Bar once I get everything sorted and purchased for it on my iMac so you guys can check that out look forward to it coming soon this is Adrian here from the Digital Dojos check out the site for more information and more tutorials thanks guys for watching I'll catch you in the next video